My name is Sarah Doyle. My partner's name is Madison Rausch, and our podcast is The Black Holes of Netflix. Uh, as film enthusiasts, our goal with this podcast was really to try to explore some of the worst films on Netflix and decide whether or not they're actually worth watching. When I first started this class, I was definitely out of my element. I didn't really have any experience with podcasts and I really didn't feel comfortable being a host. I would much rather do kind of behind the scenes. So it was definitely a little bit intimidating for me. And as the semester started to progress, it became very apparent to me that I was no longer going to be able to just kind of hide in the background and no one was going to just come rescue me from being a host. So to say that I was panicked is an understatement. Um, on top of this, I also had a lot of demands going on. Um, I was trying to work on the production of the podcast. We were recording and trying to produce and mix and um, work on social media and figure out uh, how to get the word out there so that people could hear about our podcast. And it just felt very overwhelming. I felt like I was putting in about 12 hours a week for a three credit class. And so I really had to learn how to manage my time. Um, in any new experience, especially with podcasting, it can be a little intimidating at first. And for me, it was really valuable to be able to learn how to use talents that I already had and incorporate them into podcasting, as well as developing some new strengths. One thing that I felt like I was able to bring to the table is my organizational skills. I really had to work on um, every week making sure that we were set up to record, that our episode was ready to go, that we had all the notes ready. I had to uh, schedule the sound booth and schedule the equipment and it was just really important that we maintain that communication and that we had all of that organization ready to go so that things could run smoothly. Um, another thing that I was able to uh, bring was just um, creating a blog for our podcast. I have a personal blog on my website and so a lot of those skills I was able to transfer over and I added some new things as well like being able to uh, add specific elements of the film to these blog posts. I also really enjoy using social media platforms, particularly Reddit. So I posted about our podcast frequently, uh, both the podcast in general and specific episodes. And through this, we were able to get feedback from people and some new subscribers as well. I also was able to create episode art for specific episodes. And this was a unique challenge for me because I had to find art that made sense with the episode and art that we both liked. So it took some trial and error, but it was a lot of fun to do. I also was able to develop more of a microphone presence. I enjoy public speaking, but being behind a microphone is a little intimidating for me. So this was something that I had to work on. Uh, but I also had a lot of help from my partner, Madison. We were able to get to know each other really well, and she helped me to feel more comfortable behind the microphone and to develop more of a specific host personality. Uh, when I felt like I was drowning in to-do lists and I had a lot of things on my plate, I really had to prioritize my tasks and figure out what was most important. And Dr. Burton helped me to realize that every week will look different, that some weeks I'll, will be more uh, focused on production and other weeks I'll have more time to give feedback to other students. And uh, this really helped me to develop more of a workflow to figure out what I had time to accomplish, what was most important to accomplish, so that things could continue to run smoothly and I could um, end up doing everything that I needed to do for this podcast. So for those who are just stepping into the world of podcasting, just know that it's okay to feel intimidated at first, that it's going to be new and it's going to be difficult, but think about what talents you can bring that are unique to you and think about how you can treat this as a learning opportunity. And it's not just about podcasting. These skills can transfer over to um, other classes that you're taking, to your job, your family life, um, opportunities in the church. It's something that can really change you for the better. Uh, through this class, I've been able to develop better team collaboration skills. I feel like it was really important since there were only two of us having to do everything with the podcast. We had to be organized and communicate often so that everything got taken care of. Uh, podcasting also requires you to be flexible. Not everything is going to work out right away, and so you might need to change things, redo things, get rid of things that aren't going to work, and that's okay. It's all part of the process. Um, podcasting can be really difficult, but just think of the kind of person that it will make you become. Through this class, I've been able to become more creative, responsible, dependable. It's been amazing. What will podcasting do for you?